Hello. In this video we will walk through the steps to configure Radius authentication for CorePass, in order to enable MFA for PBWA login, MFA for RDP proxy, and MFA for SSH proxy. To begin, log into the CyberArk Identity Admin Portal and download the CyberArk Identity Connector Installer to a server on the same network as your CyberArk Vault. Extract the downloaded zip file. Launch the installation wizard. Once the installation is complete, a configuration wizard will appear. Enter the CyberArk Identity Admin or Service Account to register the connector to your CyberArk Identity Tenant. Go back to the CyberArk Identity Admin Portal and navigate to Network, CyberArk Identity Connectors, then click on the connector you just installed. Go to Radius and select the checkbox to enable incoming Radius connections. Next, navigate to Authentication, Radius Connections. Click Add. Enter a name for the configuration. Enter the hostname or IP address of the CyberArk Vault server. Enter a shared secret for the RADIUS connection, then click Save. Edit the policy that will apply to your Vault users. Navigate to User Security Policies, RADIUS, and select Yes to allow RADIUS client connections. Select the checkbox to require authentication challenge. Select an existing authentication profile or create a new one. Make sure Challenge 1 is Password, and Challenge 2 is a non-password option. Log on to the CyberArk Vault server. Run CMD or PowerShell as Administrator. Navigate to C, Program Files x86, PrivateArk, Server, or wherever you have the PrivateArk Server folder installed. Run the following command to store and encrypt your RADIUS secret. Navigate to the C, Program Files x86, Private Arc, Server, Con, Folder. Create a backup of the DBPARM, a INI file. Edit the DBPARM file and configure RADIUS server's info with the IP address of the CyberArk Identity Connector, RADIUS port number, hostname or IP address of the Vault server and the name of the file that was just created which contains the RADIUS secret. Restart the private ARC server service. To enable users individually to use RADIUS authentication, log in to private ARC as an administrator. Go to Tools, Administrative Tools, Users, and Groups. Select the user that you want to enable and click Update. On the Authentication tab, under Change Password, select Radius Authentication. Click OK, then click Close. Then, quit Private Arc. To enable Radius Authentication for multiple existing users, log on to a server where Packly can access the vault. You'll need to download Packly and the Change User Authentication scripts. Run the Get User command to export the list of all your Vault users. Edit the list to select the specific users you want to enable for RADIUS authentication. Edit the set radius script by entering the name of the user list file you just saved. 
Then, run the set radius command to modify the default authentication method for all the users on the list. To enable future new users to use radius authentication, log into private arc and go to tools, administrative tools, and directory mapping. Select the role you want to modify, then click update. Click user template. Then go to the authentication tab. Change the authentication method to radius authentication. When new users in this role are created, they will be enabled for radius authentication. Click OK, then OK. Users will now be prompted for MFA when logging into CyberArk SSH proxy and RDP proxy. To demonstrate MFA for SSH proxy, launch PuTTY and load the proxy session to log into a Linux server as root. Enter the password of the CyberArk Vault user. Select the desired CyberArk MFA option to authenticate, for example, enter 1 for mobile authenticator or 2 for email. To demonstrate MFA for RDP proxy, launch Remote Desktop Manager and load the saved RDP proxy session to log into a domain controller as a vaulted service account. Enter the password of the CyberArk Vault user. Select the desired CyberArk MFA option to authenticate, for example, enter 1 for mobile authenticator or 2 for email. To enable MFA for PDWA login via Radius, log into PDWA as an administrator. Then go to Administration. Options. Authentication methods. Radius. And select Yes to enable Radius authentication. Then click OK to save the settings. Log into PDWA by selecting the Radius Authentication method and enter the Vault user's credentials. Select the desired CyberArk MFA option to authenticate, for example, enter 1 for Mobile Authenticator or 2 for Email. We have just walked through the steps to enable MFA for PBWA login, RDP proxy and SSH proxy via Radius. We hope you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching.